The time has finally come. I need to introduce you to somebody pretty special in my life. This is... Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Keisha. I'm obsessed with Ovi from Love Island. Oh my god, like it's so unhealthy. I'm so <laughs> If you're new here, I'm so sorry that you had to witness that. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you, I've been staying up until like five in the morning watching Love Island UK because that's the most superior one. Australia who? I'm so sorry that you had to witness that. Like, we're only a couple of seconds in. You had to witness my softness. Like, no, ew. Let's try that again. What is up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I do commentary and music. Bingo, I nearly slept off again. God help me. I do commentary and music, even if I forget that I do any of those things. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's address the elephant in the room besides the fact that I'm wearing pajamas. As much as I love you guys, I'm not about to run upstairs and change just for the camera. Like, I think I look cute in these pajamas. And you don't check me, boo! I basically renovated the studio. Went from white walls to now. Obviously, as you can see, blue. I wanted something that fit me. I wanted something that just fit my vibe. Something that was just super cool to me. Something that was aesthetically pleasing. And I feel like blue just came to my mind. And I absolutely love the color. I love the variation of blues to whites. There are some paintings coming in next week. I'm going to stick them on the wall. I know you guys can't really see much of the studio but i'm going to be shifting camera angles in upcoming videos so you guys can see more of that and do you know how you can tell i'm excited because i talk like this i'm a chat box like, I, mean, I chat for england normally but i just start chatting a mile a minute is that the right statement a mile a minute like i just chat i basically chat fast in james charles and molly may the reason why you guys click today's video besides the fact that you probably love seeing my beautiful face oh thank you i know okay um we're gonna be talking about Tila Dunn. I was thinking of doing a video that wasn't so like drama related. I was thinking of doing a video dedicated to one YouTuber in general and basically talk about the evolution of that person, specifically somebody that I've been watching for a very long time. And I was thinking about Tila Dunn and I'm not really sure how it came about, but maybe it was because she posted recently and I was like, you know what? I there are so much things that I have to say about Tila that I think some people probably will be surprised to hear. And I just think that people need to hear it in general. I'm not making this video so you guys are like so up my ass cheeks and you literally agree with everything I say, no, when I do my commentary based videos it's so that you guys can hear how I feel and if you disagree that's completely fine. Let's quickly talk about, or let's not quickly, let's actually take the time out to talk about the race thing. So I'm not gonna lie to you, I always thought Tila Dunn was mixed race, I don't know what gave, no I do know what gave me that impression. I'm Creole, I'm African American, I'm German. That is cringe to watch, I'm sure Tila Dunn probably cringes looking at that because that's probably not her now. I feel like the topic of discussion has always been race which I'm not gonna lie to you, I'd be lying if I said that I never took part in kind of just like mocking her for the fact that she kind of seemed to deny her black side, in my opinion. Well, actually not just my opinion, to be honest with you, a lot of people's opinions. I feel like I once had a part to play in mocking that, but I never mocked her appearance. I never took it as far as body shaming, which we're gonna go ahead and talk about later on in today's video. Just stay tuned for that. I felt that she wasn't really being true to herself. I'd always see people say, oh my gosh, she's acting white, she's acting white, but don't be ignorant, bro. Like, don't have such an ignorant mindset. Like, what is acting white? What is acting black as well? Don't mix such a statement if you're not gonna back it up with something. What is acting white? Is it, oh, because somebody seems more well-educated or because somebody seems more well-spoken? Like, I, I've got that statement before where someone's like, oh my God, I didn't expect you to sound like that. Or you sound like a white person. I'm like, bitch, I sound like me, Keisha, K-E-I to the S-H to the A. A lot of people talk about Tia Dunn's race and say that she isn't proud to be black. And I'm not gonna lie to you. I think in the very beginning, I felt that way too. Like I never got anything from her. I'm not saying because she's a black girl she has to talk about black issues. No, I don't think she feel obligated to, but it's just nice to have the reassurance that you actually care and you're aware and you are trying to spread awareness to your followers who may be black. So that was something that I felt like we didn't get much of in Tila. Back in 2013, up into 2000 and maybe 17, because her friends was predominantly white for the most part, or she was seen hanging around with white guys or whatever it was, right? I think a lot of people associated that with, oh my God, she doesn't have any black friends. Like we visibly can't see any black friends. Oh my God, maybe she hates black people. Maybe she isn't proud to be black, which is a whole big judgment. How do you know she hasn't just called Shadisha on the phone and like, do you know what I mean? Like how do you know they're not in a WhatsApp group chat? We don't know. But I think when I was younger, I kind of was part of the percentage who was just like prejudging. And I'm okay to admit that because I can admit my faults and realize that I've grown from that tremendously. Tila, if you are watching this, by the way, I want you to know that this is a safe space. Like I can be shady because I'm shady. I'm not choosing to be shady with you in particular. That's just how we do things around here. If you want to comment 
um, about anything I mentioned in today's video, that's absolutely fine. Or even if you want to have a conversation with me, I'm down to do that. I don't want to call an interview because I want to be like, okay, so Tila Dunn, and where did you get your clothes from? Okay, Tila Dunn, who was that white boy that you were with? Okay, Tila Dunn, how did you get your teeth so straight? Like, no, bro, like... I'm not about to do that. I would love to have a conversation with you because I think she's bubbly and I think some people also mistake the bubbliness for her being flirtatious. Bitch, I can relate. I'm not saying I'm some sort of like outro... No, I'm not. I'm not an outrovert. I'm really not. Like, I wish I could be one of those girls who could literally go up to anybody. That's just not me, sweetheart. But I'm... I'm definitely the girl who doesn't mean to be flirtatious but it's just within me. Like, I just give you them little, like, cute eyes. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm a cute girl. You know, like, I'm not gonna degrade myself because these other YouTubers are doing that. No, sweetheart, I'm a cute girl, okay? I'm gonna gas myself up because I mean, who's going to like, husband, boyfriend, who? <laughs> now for real though, like if you're a cute straight guy, um, preferably five foot five and above, then come through, quarter. <laughs> and I wish I was joking. I'm so sorry, I'm gonna go on a tangent here because that's just pretty much my brand. Watching Love Island, like, I'm so sorry, but does it not make you feel like, oh my God, like you wanna couple up with somebody, like, I mean, if, if these celebrities don't want me, I might as well go a regular guy, right? <laughs> I'm kidding. I feel like someone's going to take me so literal. You know when people say, like, oh, my God, like, I, I definitely have haters, but I have more supporters. I'm so sorry, but when it comes to Tina Dunn, she can say that a million times, but I don't see that. Visibly, if you go through the comment section of her Instagram, the YouTube comment section, the TikTok comment section, it's crucifying her and finding ways to degrade her and mock her. And that is something that I would never understand and respect, especially, especially. Especially when it comes to a woman. I think that's a whole nother level of low, but we're gonna go ahead and talk about that. If you thought the video was over, no, sweetheart, we're just getting started. One thing that I specifically appreciate about Tila Dunn, and it's the fact that regardless of what anybody says about her, she will always come up 10 times stronger. And do you know what? Realistically, if those comments had been hit to somebody else, I think it would knock them down. Domino. Boom, 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 pow. I really do admire and appreciate. Um, and it's, some, it's something that realistically she's gonna get a lot of, especially being in the industry that she is. If she's gotten that, for the amount of time she's been on YouTube already, imagine what it's gonna be like the upcoming years to come. Like, it's gonna be hectic and crazy. And do you know what? It's out of her control. I'm gonna be shady right now, but all the people who are critiquing her appearance and body shaming her and calling her a bubble head. Oh my God, she's a bubble head. Her body, where's her body? It's just like, first and foremost, you're not that cute. You're cute to somebody else, but you're just not cute to me. I'm so sorry, like, it's always the shady, dusty, crusty people who swear they run out of cream. No, sweetheart, it's not that. You're just dusty and crusty and ashy. You go through their profile pictures and it's literally, either no picture or is a picture of Dora's Blur because you know she's better than you like imagine an animation be better than you anyway it would be another thing if like she actually did something controversial I do remember her like doing one thing but like come on bro there's other people you should be giving this energy to I don't condone violence or hate but like realistically I know you don't go 10 times hard I know you're not on these people the amount of times you're on Tila Dunn's ass cheeks like it isn't cute like get out her ass please Get out her ass crack, please. I never thought we'd talk about Tia Dunn and ass. I don't. <laughs> Next thing I think I'm gonna talk about is boyfriends and relationships. When it comes to the relationship aspect, I wanna start by saying that I don't agree with the fact that she brings her boyfriend on camera too soon, too early. Now, four months, three months might seem like a long time to some of you guys. Three months might also seem really quick. The fact that she would bring boyfriends on camera after like three to four months, I'm like, hmm, I don't know how to feel about this. Especially when it's a third time of her doing this with a complete different guy. I'm like, come on, you know how the first outcome went, the second one wasn't so cute. Why is the third one gonna be any different? You might genuinely feel like you have this connection and buzz. I sound like some sort of like love expert, bitch. I need me a man, not a boy, by the way, a man. In all seriousness though, like she might genuinely feel like this is the one, I love him. And maybe off of camera, he acts very like, oh, I care for you, like I genuinely love you. But I'm so sorry, the vibes that I've seen on camera has been absolutely cringe. I'm like, oh my God, Tila, sweetheart, you're, too, you're better than this. If he doesn't even know your favorite Starbucks drinks, and we do, and somebody knows after watching you twice, I'm sweetheart, bye bye Olive what? Deuces, adios, you've got to go. Take the next Uber. I, do you know what? I'll be nice and book it for you at this point. You can have a preference that you can love the model types. But I think that realistically, if you notice a pattern of all these model types just not doing you good, then maybe that's just not the right move. And the reason why I sound like this right now is because I care. I'm not going to make a video on somebody and, and you know, call out a bunch of things if I didn't care. I genuinely do care. And like I said, I've been watching her for five years now. I think that putting out a relationship that's so new just isn't the way forward. I, to be honest with you, I think that that 
has been a major situation when it comes to your fans. I think a lot of them in the comment section are like, oh my God, did you see it like four minute 52? He literally didn't look at her while she literally gazed into his big brown, no, sorry, hold on, <coughs> blue eyes. A lot of people are not happy with the fact that she likes to date white boys. And I'm like, huh? what is the problem here? It could just be her preference. Maybe she gets along with them more. Maybe she's just around them a whole lot more. So that's what she's attracted to. Maybe growing up, that's all she's liked. Who are you to judge her? It's not like she's ever dragged another race whilst uplifting another one. I think some people in this world, just some, think you have to settle down within their race. I can see where some people are coming from, maybe some traditions, but I think love is love. If that person generally knows who they want to settle down with or who they're interested in, you can't tell them anything. You don't spend a day with them. You don't know much about them realistically besides 15 minutes of a video they just posted. So to all the people who are going to be ignorant, like, oh my gosh, she only dates white boys, like, oh my God, I'm clicking off, uh, 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 uh. Maybe you wouldn't, but she does. Great thing, you're not living in her shoe. You're doing you, she's doing her. But if you're going to hate watch somebody, like, at least do it well. You're giving her coins. Like, you're literally going to give her AdSense at the end of the month. She's going to probably go and splurge on two Gucci bags. Congratulations, sweetheart. You literally hate watching somebody. It's embarrassing. I'm laughing at you right now. Next thing I want to talk about is friendship. When it comes to Sierra Furtado, I'm going to keep it so real with you. I said this before on a live stream and I'm going to say it again because I have chest. She just gives me like poker face 24-7. Oh, she's just a hard one to crack, isn't she? Like even just watching Sierra's channel, I, she, I might dedicate a video to her um, one day, but Sierra is just in the nicest way possible, and I promise you, she's just bland. The girl has some lush, lush, lush eyebrows, but it's not about eyebrows. Like, I'm not going to you, you're not my eyebrow specialist. You see what I'm saying? Like, this is content, baby. And I feel like, again, potential could have been there, but it's something diverted, and I'm not really sure what it is. I remember Tila being part of the Savage Squad, which included Sierra, my life is Ava, and Meredith. I remember the Savage Squad when I was like 15 and I wasn't paying attention in school. I was literally doing my homework whenever I felt like, don't do that. No, but for real though, don't do that. Don't worry, I still passed. <laughs> I remember them just like always being on it, always making videos, going Coachella together with their boyfriend, walking and strutting the, the hills and the streets of LA. And I was just in my UK house in London with no aircon. Like, do you not understand the struggle is real? There was one thing I really disliked when it came to the Savage Squad. When they all broke up, I guess, Meredith was going through her own thing where I think that she kept like working out or like, there was a couple of accusations of her having like an eating disorder and she kind of drifted away from them, whatever it really was. I just didn't like the way they disrespected Meredith. I think it was inappropriate. I don't know what was set off of camera, but I think that just clickbaiting for me in general, there's there's two levels of clickbaiting, right? One level where it's like, okay, we know you're, you're, you're hoaxing us and it's almost funny. And then it's the next level of just like, okay, this is like too much. I'm not perfect in any way, shape or form. I've clickbaited before, but nothing extreme to the point where it's like, I didn't ever mention that in a video. A lot of people also say that Tila Dunn loves to switch up around different people. now. I'm gonna say this because I think a lot of people actually do this in general your energy is not deserving of everybody and this might come across as like arrogant or like overconfident but I'm gonna hold it I'm gonna say it with chess like not everybody is worthy of my time like that's just how much I respect and rate myself and I wish that everybody watching right now boy and girl can realize that like not everybody is worthy or deserving of your energy I might have this friend who I go to for advice and I'm more on the serious side and they might go to an another one of my girls and be like be super hyper and just like crazy and loud because that's just the way we are so changing your vibe isn't necessarily a bad thing I've gone on for too long now to the point where it's like the girl is trying to change and move on with her life and do all these crazy things and you're just there critiquing things that happened two, three years ago. Like, come on, do better, Georgina, Becky, Karen. I think next we want to talk about is image and appearance-wise. It's so sad that I'm going to have to do this. I don't respect it when girls do this. I think it's just a new level of low. Bashing somebody based on their appearance is like, huh? So she got her boobs done recently and... I remember seeing this viral picture on Twitter. I think it got like over 100K. And I think this was back in the month of June when the whole process were happening. So I understand people were like feeling some type of way about it. It was just the wrong timing. So the caption on the post was something like read the room. And the comment section was just so embarrassing. If I was Tila, I would probably log off. I would deactivate my Twitter because like if this is what I'm seeing on one post, imagine what people Oh my god. People are commenting, bubble head, bubble head, bubble head, your head is bigger than your body. She's got no body. Like, why did she get her bo boobs done? It doesn't match her body. Like, why does she have a big hair? Why does her lace front look like that? Why does her body look like that? I'm like, oh my god. Stage them, please. I'm be like, for the love of God, I'm just, I'm begging you at this point. Like, because if you say one more thing, I don't know what's about to happen. I don't know how Tila Dunn is managing to stay sane. If you, realistically watching right now, 
was put in Taylor's situation, can you hack the hate? I'm gonna keep it so real. I respect the girl on the level of, oh my God, she is strong AF. Because I know a million people who, I don't mean to take you guys to a dark place right now, because the lights are on, but some people would have easily found an easier alternative for them, if you know what I mean. Like calling her a bubble head, saying that she has no body, her boobs don't fit her. I'm like, first of all, she just got her tits done. And I promise you, Tina Dunn has said that this is not how my boobs are gonna look, I like, just give it some time. Not that she even has to say that because I'm not trying to stare at the girl's tits, like love that for you, but like, oh, I hate social media because it wasn't like this before. That's what I hate the most. It wasn't like this before, people are so invasive. But I think that Tina's an absolutely gorgeous girl and I think that what she has managed to do on the platform thus far has been amazing. With that being said, let's move on to content. It's lacking 100% and I can't say, oh my god, it's just on one channel. I think it's on both. But I think if I prefer watching one channel, it's definitely the vlogging channel. I think she has such a great personality. And that's why it's kind of like I'm fuming because it's like, we need to see it more. I don't know what to take from Tila's videos anymore. I think, I feel like she's just posting just to post. I feel like the love that she had for YouTube just isn't there anymore because she used to post so much. You know, like even during quarantine, there was so much videos you could have done, so much like experiments, so much, you know, testing these items, stuff like that. Oh my God, why does it sound like I just had an Irish accent? During quarantine, it kind of tested who was really more serious about YouTube. And of course, like health is very important and mental health, and make sure you're okay before anything else. I think quarantine tested out a lot about influencers. Like for instance, I don't mean to go there, but someone like Alyssa Violet, like she hasn't posted, like that goes to show a lot. And when she does post it, sponsored content, I don't personally respect that. I'm not gonna keep supporting you if you just come back and give me like, a video that's 10 minutes long and five minutes of it is an ad and sponsored. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just don't feel that anymore. I'm not saying Tila Dunn gives me that, she doesn't. But I think quarantine put a lot of things to test and it showed like, okay, who's really on it. And I remember Trisha Paytas making a statement, like who would have thought I would listen to Trisha Paytas? But yeah, here we go. She said a statement about that. I was like, my eyes, oh my God, like Trish, Trish, Trish. Tr Trisha said that? Yeah, like I definitely have a lot of respect for Tina Dunn and I definitely wish her the best and I think that she's gonna go on to do amazing things. I think she's a great actress and I'd love to see her continue pursuing that and I think she is. I'd also love to see her like, I guess go down the direction of more mature content, um, if that's what she likes, of course. Like Experimenting is, is really key here. So I'm looking forward to see what Tina Dunn is gonna do. I do wanna know your thoughts and opinions about Tina's content down below in the comment section, just in case she's scrolling and she wants an idea of what you guys would like to see from her. That's pretty much my personal opinion. I think I kept it real good. I think I wasn't too shady. I'm gonna end this video here. I'll see you guys real soon.